Guitar building. Hey, Fonzie, uh, don't you want to take that across the street? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> it wasn't bothering me. <laughs> it was bothering her. <laughs> no, it wasn't so much that I was bothered, I was concerned. Now, Brianna, are you okay? I'm Josh, and I'm fine. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> uh, I'll just fix this tomorrow. My mom will trip from late for dinner. Uh, oh, is she making something special? Reservations, and if I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you live here? Yeah, part time. With my mom, my parents are divorced. Oh, my parents are divorced too. Oh, well, my parents never got married. <laughs> Maybe I'll block your wagon tomorrow, Brianna. And, and, and spirit. Yeah, spirit. <laughs> Ooh, girl, did you see him checking me out? I think he liked me. You know what? We had a deal the next time we both saw a cute guy together, he was going to be mine. <laughs> no, but see, that law was superseded by the location clause. If he lives in my building, he's all mine. Girl, did you get a copy of that? No. <laughs> wait, 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 our nails is in my building. That's right, girl. And he's all yours. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I can't turn no one else So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh -huh. Oh yeah I'll be there to think and then Why don't you love where you're from? Me and you against the world Living one on one One on uh -huh. one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Living one on one, one, on one. Let's one, 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 one. just be fun Now we have a bond yeah. Living one on one One on one Oh, hey, dog. Uh, I believe this belongs to you. My new lamp. How'd you get it? Well, they delivered it last week. Last week? Yeah, well, well I've been busy. And it's been dark. <laughs> hey, why is the door unlocked? Any lunatic could just walk right in here. Hey, you're right, so why don't you waltz right back out? <laughs> I will. I just wanted to give Brianna the geography book she left at my place, and uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you a question. Who is the worst sports reporter in all of Baltimore? I don't know who. Word is. It's you. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> oh, great. Another Howard McIntyre column trashing me. Man, that guy has it out for me. Just because I get the interviews he can't get. Wait a minute, Flex. Listen to this. Even with cue cards and a teleprompter, the only thing more derivative and cliche than Flex Washington's reporting style is... <laughs> Flex Washington. <laughs> Sorry. See, he's a hater. He doesn't like the pro athlete term broadcaster thing. You know, he says we're nothing but jocks with mics. But I've done plenty of hard hitting exposes. I can handle his criticism. <laughs> I hope so, dog. Because it says right here <clears throat> uh, How can Washington objectively investigate athletes for point shaving or taking performance enhancers when he's out partying with them? <laughs> I say it's impossible. Washington isn't a journalist. He's an athletic supporter. <laughs> he called you a jock strap. Mm, 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 mm. Poor guy. You know who he is? He's that kid at the playground who always got picked last. After the girls and the kid with the special shoe. Hey, I can outkick anyone. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Ooh, girl. Are you going to school or a rumble? <laughs> OK, new look. Lip gloss, new leather jacket with the tag still hanging on the sleeve. <laughs> What's his name? Josh, and he's so cute, and I think I love him. <laughs> what happened to our name? He's so cute, and I think I love him. <laughs> Daddy, Josh is the kindest, most sensitive, amazing, wonderful, sweetest guy I've ever met. I think I can spend the rest of my life with him. Oh, baby, tell me more. So what's Josh's last name? How would I know? I just met him. <laughs> Go to school. We'll talk later, OK? OK, bye-bye, Josh. I mean, mommy. <laughs> you gotta see this, man. He is killing you. <laughs> Dwayne, I don't care. He can't kill me. And do you wanna know why? Because I'm Flex Washington, and words mean nothing to me. <laughs> Funny, because that's exactly what he says right here. <laughs> you hold the record for most assists and most goals. Three years running, and you deny the use of any performance-enhancing drugs? It's my asthma medicine. Now, I like this story, Amber. <laughs> and there it is, folks, another hard-hitting expose on the Flex Files. Mommy! Yeah, go tell your mother.
and I'll be back with my closing comments. And we're out. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Hey, how you like that, man? Bring them on. Who's next? I'm ready to take on the world. Flex Washington isn't pulling any punches, baby. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, there's a senior Olympic synchronized swim team. Yeah, due to advanced age and chlorine, most of them are deaf already, so you'll have to yell your insults. <laughs> hey, bring them on, man. I hear they're using Viagra as a performance enhancer drug. Supposedly, it helps keep the men afloat. <laughs> you know what, Flex? You just gave McIntyre more fodder for his column tomorrow. As your producer and as your friend. The main is your producer. <laughs> I encourage you to take the high road. No, you're right. The high road, like a mature adult. And we're back in five, four, three. I'd like to close out today's Flex Files with a few words for Howard McIntyre of the Baltimore Examiner. I'm rubber, you're glue. Everything you write bounces off me and sticks to you. <laughs> Good night, Baltimore. <laughs> and we're out. Way to take that high road, Flex. <laughs> oh, uh, a package for uh, Flex Washington? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm Flex Washington. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. I was just about to go into my place. <laughs> All right. You have a good day now. Flat app. <laughs> Ooh, pottery barn. <laughs> Hope it's a salad bowl. <laughs> hey, DeWine, what have you got there? Nothing. I get packages, too, you know. Anyway, girl, I saw Josh coming in the building. How do I look? Like a man, hog, huh? Keeping all a man for yourself. Oink, oink. <laughs> OK, Spirit, I promise. The next guy who comes along is all yours. What's up, y'all? Uh-uh, I don't want him. He's used. <laughs> so, Arnez, what brings you by for a brief visit? I got problems. Oh, everybody does. Things will get better. It's always a cloud with a silver lining. It's always darkest before the dawn. Have a nice day. Thanks for coming by. Try to get rid of me. No. Oh. Bye. Hey. Come with me, Arnez, and tell Spirit all about it. I mean, somebody's life has got to be more pathetic than mine. <laughs> oh, hi, Josh. Who's Josh? <laughs> Cute hat. You look like you're ready to go riding. OK. <laughs> I didn't mean with me. Well, neither did I. There's plenty of bikes in this town. Gotcha. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. <laughs> Who's Josh? Uh, just a new neighbor of Brianna's with bad taste in women. So what's this about a crab? It's Ginger. She always wants to be with me. She smothers me. I didn't know it was going to be like this. You know what your problem is? You got with Ginger because you were mad at Brianna. That is not true. I like Ginger. Just the calling me 20 times a day I can't stand. I mean, at least Brianna left a little mystery. But Ginger, you always know who's done it. <laughs> so when did you get the bike? Ah, uh, two Christmases ago at my dad's. It was a big guilt year. He was uh, thinking about moving in with this girlfriend. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. These earrings, I walked in on my dad and his date. They were just holding hands. But if I came in 10 minutes later, these would be real diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better get going. My mom's microwaving a burrito for me, and you know what that means. What? Breakfast at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you want a home-cooked meal, I can always whip something up for you. You can cook? Of course I can cook. You can call me Chef Boy Arbri. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping me with dinner, Mommy. Helping you? I fixed the whole meal. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi, I'm sorry I'm such a mess, but I've been in the kitchen cooking all day. <laughs> It smells great. What are we having? We're having la... la... Chicken. We're having la chicken. It's French. <laughs> mm. Nice to meet you, Josh. I'm Brianna's mother, Nicole. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, so you've been talking about me. That's a good sign. I don't believe this! I'm getting it twice a day, in the morning and at night. Eh, yeah, Flex, OK, enough about your love life. They're children present. <laughs> Nicole, this is not a good time. I'm at war with Howard McIntyre. As if the newspapers weren't enough, now he's attacking me on the internet. You didn't tell me your dad was Flex Washington. Oh, by the way, my daddy's Flex Washington. 
I'm off the high road, I'm taking the low road. Throw away all the soap, I'm getting down and dirty. Are you finished? Because this is Brianna's friend, Josh, okay? <laughs> hey, yeah, I've heard so much about you. Uh, I'm Flex Washington, Brianna's father. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Washington. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Flex Files. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> I like this kid. <laughs> Hi, I'm Howard McIntyre, Josh's father. His mother said he was down here. McIntyre? Washington? Dad? Ma? Flex. Oh, my bad. Go with your daddy. Dad, you can't slam the door on the first, second, third love of my life. I cannot believe you. Get back. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry, Josh. Howard, I'm Brianna's mother, Nicole. Um, why don't you guys come in for a few minutes? Maybe it would help if we got to know one another. Forget it, Nicole. He's the hater I can feel breathing on my calves when I'm trying to do an interview with an athlete in the locker room. Oh, oh, big talk for a two-time NBA loser with nothing but a pretty smile and a cue card with complicated words like fladap. <laughs> Dad, you're messing up everything. Brianna, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 you won't. My daughter is not going to associate with the son of the slanderer who's trying to take the food off of our table, the roof from over our heads, and the DKNY off your back. Son, you are not dating the daughter of the poster child of America's short attention span. A Washington by any other name would be just as foul. Come on, we're leaving. Oh, oh, no, you're not leaving. I'm kicking you out, George Jefferson style. Get out! <laughs> Hold your tongue. Your life be not yours till you're 18. <laughs> oh my gosh, Josh! <laughs> Why, Josh? Hello. What are you doing out there? I got you something. You know, since we never got to have dinner together. Oh, you are so sweet. Look, I'm sorry about my dad. He's such a dork. Oh, I'm sorry about mine, too. He's a bigger dork. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about you, Brianna. Oh, well, you know if my dork finds out, he's gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, this is so romantic. <laughs> I better go. Try not to dream about me too much. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you didn't see that. Ow! Ow! I thought you said you were taking me out to breakfast. Are we not out? <laughs> Is this not breakfast? <laughs> what is this? Another McIntyre article. Man, listen to this. Fate smiled on me yesterday when I was given the opportunity to visit Flex Washington's home. It's decorated in early Fred. Fred Flintstone, Fred Sanford, Freddy Krueger, pick a Fred. Oh. Hey, if you're Fred Flintstone, does that make me Mr. Slate? <laughs> I killed him in the coffee room. Hey, my daughter hates me and is probably gonna run off with the son of the man who's making me the laughing stock of Baltimore. Now, mine was funnier. <laughs> what I don't understand is, what's this guy's beef with me? Oh, it's simple, Flexi. Since the Donna man, or what I like to call the early 80s, <laughs> there's been this battle between print journalists and broadcast journalists. Tell us more, media man. <laughs> you see, your print journalists are generally smarter, but not the most attractive folk, uh, bordering on Carney. <laughs> like a little menagerie of circus freaks, if you will. <laughs> But well, there's only one way to deal with a little circus freak. I'm gonna go over to that newsroom and pound that little freak into a, a little freak. That's uh, what I'm gonna do. Hold I'm gonna... on, Flex. Here, hold on. You can't go around beating up little people or bowling them <laughs> or offering them $50 to sing Ding Dong the Witch is Dead at your divorce here. <laughs> you know, but what you can do is show them what it's like to dance your dance. 
Really? Challenge him to a sports duel, if you will. Oh, I get it. I get it. Invite McIntyre to join me on the Flex Files, and I can show him how it's done. Yeah, this way we'll go head to head. Or in his case, head to knee. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine was funny. Yeah, me. me, me. <laughs> Get the door! Get the door! How did they accidentally deliver Mr. Washington's coffee table to your apartment? How did you accidentally back into the door frame? What? <laughs> Pour it in there. Okay, Dwayne, so what's going on? Yeah, how did all those different stores get the wrong address? Okay, I have a confession to make. No! <laughs> well, see, I had a big date. My first one since Stacy and I broke up, so I've been borrowing Fless's things. So, uh... <laughs> We can just keep this our little secret, huh? <laughs> sure. For 50 bucks. Each. Y'all can forget that. <laughs> Welcome to a very special edition of the Flex Files. Ooh, this is the big show Don Brown was telling us about. With me today is noted Baltimore sports journalist Howard McIntyre. Or as I like to call him behind his back, Little Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I've invited him on this special edition of the Flex Files so he can teach me how to do my job. Howard. Thank you, Flex. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, oh. <laughs> and here. <laughs> and now I'll turn things over to our station manager, Hank Hampton, who will set the stage for tonight's sports challenge. Take it away, Hank. Thank you, Flex. Well, the challenge is quite simple. I've selected two clips from the Super Bowl between the New York Giants and our beloved Baltimore Ravens. Our two newsmen here, Mr. McIntyre, and Washington will do a highlight commentary. Mr. Washington, you won the toss backstage. You, uh, go first. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. All right, sports fans. Dilford with a three-step drop. Looks off the safety like he's flirting with the guy. This man is sick. He hits Stokely, who's more open than Shannon Sharp's mouth. Then it takes it to the his house. A 38-yard touchdown pass that has the people of Baltimore forgetting all about the dreadful day when the Mayflower trucks herded the Colts out of town. Flat out. It's all yours, Howard. OK. OK, the, the ball is snapped. Dilfer drops back. Oh, wait, I, I think that's Banks. And, and it looks like he's making an early deposit. Uh, or is it a withdrawal? Uh, uh, wait, can you rewind that? Uh, ne never mind. Um, and it, it, it looks like, it, it, lo it looks like the guy caught it like the flu. Achoo! God bless you. No, 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 that's my flat app. Achoo! <laughs> oh, we're out. <laughs> oh my God, I suck. It's so much easier when I do it in my basement. <laughs> what is it now, Ginger? I miss you, wish you toozy woozy. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, that's it, all right? I've had it. It's not how it's supposed to be. I need someone who's gonna give me some space. Someone who's independent. Someone who's not named after a spice. <laughs> oh, if it's so funny, I'd like to see you do what I do. <laughs> Look, man, I respect what you do. I didn't make fun of you until you started making fun of me. Why? You make it look so easy. And I, I hate that full adapt thing. Just like I hate Kevin Costner. <laughs> I don't know why, I just do. Look, man, it, it's not as easy being me as it looks. Uh, for example, see, I have to watch my weight. You, on the other hand, can let yourself go even more. <laughs> Listen up, guys. Um, the kids have something to say. <sighs> Daddy, Mr. McIntyre, we could disobey you guys. And sneak around and see each other. But we need our allowances. And I really like Rihanna a lot. Hey, man, we need to bury the hatchet for the kid's sake. Ah, you're taking all the fun out of it, Washington. <laughs> but I'm going to be the bigger guy for the kid's sake. Howard, you could never be the bigger guy. <laughs> Spirit, I made up my mind. I want Rihanna back. She's a girl for me. That was 
so close. We're getting good at this. <laughs> I hope you're good at running! <laughs> Ah, uh, spaghetti night. That's right. I just want to make my baby happy. Oh, that's sweet, Flex. <laughs> Makes me feel a little uncomfortable, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's father-daughter night, not father-dummy night. <laughs> what you want anyway? For it to be father-dummy night. <laughs> Actually, man, I just came by to say that making me take on Arnez as a roommate was a it was a good idea. I like being a mentor to the young boy. Oh, cool. Where's Arnez now? He's changing the oil in my car. <laughs> oh, actually, that's later. Right now, he's uh, oh, he's leveling the lifts in my shoes. <laughs> Haven't you noticed I've been walking in circles lately? Man, well, circle your butt back on over there and finish watching him, man. I don't want him kissing my daughter again. I don't want him touching her. I don't even want him looking at her again. This isn't the calm, enlightened Zen daddy you told Brianna you were gonna be. Yeah, well, that was Zen. This is now. <laughs> Before I saw her tongue wrestling Arnez on the roof. Now I got no choice. See, I gotta be cool daddy to her face and sneaky daddy behind her back. That's it. A double agent, double daddy. What's with you, Flex? Every day it's a new daddy. It's like living with my mama all over again. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Arnez are dating? Yes. Ever since I got back from New York, my dad and I agreed to be honest with each other, and this is the first step. Yeah, and you're here because I feel safer with as many witnesses as possible. <laughs> no, I'm here because movies cost money and this drama is free, okay? <laughs> hey, Brianna, I sent you out for chips and you brought home the dips. <laughs> Daddy, Arnez and I have something to say. It's on you, boo. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm good, y'all can go. <clears throat> well, Mr. Washington, well, that would be a good place to hide a body. <laughs> Brianna and I feel very strongly about being open. God, she looks so good right now. She better be worth all this. <laughs> oh, really? A really, really deep well. <laughs> Yes, sir. We want to make sure that you are all right with us dating. Dating who? <laughs> uh, 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 dating whom would be the correct usage. What a dork. What a dork. What a dork. What a dork. <laughs> it's hard being the smartest one in the room. <laughs> Daddy, Arnest and I want to make sure you're okay with us dating each other. Why would not I be okay with you two dating? Because you're an overprotective... Ill-tempered lunatic. Maybe the old Flex was an overprotective, ill-tempered lunatic. But the new Flex has... Gus balls! Yeah! The new Flex is cool. Yeah, I'm cool with y'all, Dave. I appreciate you being open with me. <laughs> if only this was his face! <laughs> okay, well, that was good. Bye. Be a man. Don't run till you get to the hallway. Oh, thanks, Daddy. I think this whole being open and honest thing is really gonna work out. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go across the hall to be with my man. <laughs> Did you lick your fingers and stick them back in the bag? Well, I didn't want to just stick them back in dirty. <laughs> Dwayne, did you see that underhanded move? I mean, what teenagers are honest with their parents? They think I'm gonna ease up on them. Fools. They're gonna regret the day that they were ever honest with me. Ain't that right, Dwayne? Nobody knows. <laughs> and don't you see? I mean, they're just like her mother and me. Two teenagers driven by lust. I mean, we spent our prime night in the maternity ward. The pediatrician signed my yearbook. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen to them. Well, it's your own fault for having such a hot daughter. What'd you say? 
Is he reading my thoughts? Hey, man, you seen Brianna and Arnez? No. Weren't you following them in your car? Yeah, I was, until I accidentally hit a bike messenger. Was he hurt? No, nah, but he sure took his time getting up. <laughs> anyway, man, I lost him. They could be anywhere doing anything. Her mother and I, we did everything, and we did it everywhere. All right, Flex, you need what I got. What, hands like a hobbit? <laughs> no, I'm talking about a locator chip. I put one in Candy's car. Right now, I am watching her every move as we speak. Man, that is so sneaky, so underhanded, so deceitful. Can I get one? <laughs> I don't know, Flex. I mean, I only have a few left over from Big Sal's, and I already got a couple guys who are going to pay me good money for them. Uh, come on. Wayne, this is Flex, your childhood friend, your best friend. And if you don't hook me up with one, the last friend to see you alive. All right, you, you talked me into it. Uh, and since you're my boy, I'm gonna hook you up with a good price. My man. Yeah. $1,200. What? $1,200? I thought you said you were gonna give me a good price. Man, that is a good price. For me. <laughs> and remember, I am unemployed and housing your daughter's future baby's daddy. Man, I give you 20 bucks. Sold. Can I have it now? Dwayne, I live across the hall. You don't want to take it that long. Like, look, fine, all right? Look, here's $10 and, and a chiclet. Oh. Now, show me how this thing works. All right. After I install it, which is an additional $1,180. Fine. We'll talk money later. <laughs> oh, look, look, check it out. See, with this GPS software, you can track her anywhere in the country. Well, for instance, right now, Candy's signal is slowing down and stopping at 5771 Ryan Street. Huh. What losers are you going to see now? <laughs> Wayne, mm -hmm. that's this building. Oh, my God! I'm the loser! Flex, no, you got to go now. Come on, you got to go. Hey, what about my locator chip, man? You got to install it for man, me. Man, no time. I got to get gussied up. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Oh, man. Come, Come on, on, man. Come on. <laughs> Candy, is... did you gussy up? <coughs> Baby, I stay gussy. <laughs> oh, what a pleasant surprise. Come on in. Well, I'm here because I got your letter. All ten of them. Huh. I wonder what happened to the rest. <laughs> you forgive me? No. A lie is still a lie, no matter what the reason. I can't be with a man I don't trust, unless he's really, really good looking. <laughs> Baby, I was just so worried that you wouldn't want to be with me if I didn't have a job. I couldn't provide for you like a man. First of all, I can provide for myself. And second, where do you get off thinking I was with you because you had a paycheck? Like I'm some kind of gold digger. But Baby, I never said that you were a gold digger. Hmm. Although that's what I heard. What? <laughs> then why would I have been dating you? Well, no one said you were good at it. <laughs> Please take me back. Oh, the whining, the crying, the begging. I mean, I admit, I do miss our foreplay. The way you used to make that buzzing sound like a bumblebee. <laughs> hmm, but I gotta move on. Oh, Candy, please, baby. Look, I promise, I will never lie again. Dwayne, how do I know you mean it? But look, I promise. If I ever do get another job, I will tell you the minute I get fired. Well, it'll mean us starting all over again. Ah, uh, whatever, my sweetness. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Isn't this great? Yeah, well, I have been practicing on my pillow. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm so glad we told your dad. I, mean, I just feel so free. It's great not having to sneak around and look over our shoulders anymore. Well, my dad trusts me now. He finally realizes that I'm not a little girl anymore. Yeah, I realized that a long time ago. What kind of an idiot pulls into the drive-in with his high beams on? Hey, let the light shine on our love. We don't need to hide from anyone. Come on, let's give him a show. <laughs> Brianna? <laughs> Daddy? Girl, I thought I recognized your car. <laughs> what a quinky thing. <laughs>Yo, I I'm on a date, too. Another Kawinky thing. <laughs> Yo, this is so bananas. <laughs> I'm here with my girl, Jabba. Come on, who brings a date to see Finding Nemo Part 2? <laughs> Except for you and me. 
Who wouldn't want to see a movie about a father who'd navigate treacherous waters and battle those great half-white sharks to save his only child? Uh, excuse me, my job is percolating. <laughs> Take your time. How did he know we were here? I don't know, but I think you better get your hand off my thigh. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Can you believe I ran into my daughter at a drive-in? I mean, what are the chances of that? I would think very unlikely since we were going to dinner at Cafe Pierre. Come on, baby. Look. Look, I know it's just a drive-in. But you make me feel so young. Don't you want to act like we were 18 again and hop in the back seat? Aw, Flex, I can't be mad at you. You're fun and you're on TV. <laughs> Flat top. <laughs> No, no, it, it, it's flat out, but it, that's, that's okay, baby. It, it's going back. Wasn't this backseat thing a good idea, Java? I'm glad I thought of it. Oh, I'm so sorry about the clutter back there. I didn't know my dad and I were going on a double date. <sighs> Ever. <laughs> Me either. And that's what I get for dating a B-list celebrity. Oh, please. Like, somebody's gonna believe you America's next top model. <laughs> Look, Daddy, don't you want to take Java back to your car so you two can have a date like normal people? What's not normal about this? I mean, it's just a father and a daughter out on a date with other people in a car. I mean, we're just going with the flow. Who knows where the rest of the night might take us? I can tell you where it's not taking us. And I am a top model. <laughs> Arnez, are you hungry? No, I ate earlier. Ow. I mean, I, I can eat. Alright, we're gonna go get some snacks. You two want something? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to get no snacks. I got you. I got you. I stopped at the 99 cent store. Yeah. I picked up some licorice. Well, well, it says licorice, but it tastes the same for half the price. What's that beeping noise? With any luck, a truck is backing over us. <laughs> no, I hear it too. Beep, beep, beep. No, that's me. Yeah, I'm working on this new thing for the show. You know, I can't live off flat app forever. Beep, beep. Doot, doot. <laughs> well, I gotta work out the kinks. Anyway, turn up the sound. The movie's getting ready to start. Oh, what'd you say, Java? You can't see over Arnaz's head, and, and you want to switch seats with him. Oh, no, Arnaz wouldn't have a problem with that. Arnett, come on, sit back here with me. <laughs> oh, hello, Flex. Hey, I'm making breakfast for candy, and I need to borrow a few things. What do you need to borrow? Breakfast. <laughs> Take what you want, man. I owe you. You know, this tracking device works like a charm. Of course, Brianna's mad at me for crashing her date, and uh, I'm sure I'll be living with you when I'm old and sick, but... Uh... <laughs> My baby girl's not pregnant. I feel proud. <laughs> I don't know why you're so worried about her, man. I mean, you raised your daughter better than that. And I'm sure she has a good excuse for why she's at the Green Door Motel. <laughs> oh, my God. The Green Door Motel? Dwayne, Nicole and I used to go there. That's where Brianna was conceived. And now she's going to take our nest there? Don't you see, man? It's the circle of life. <laughs> I got to find my baby before she makes a baby. Okay, well, uh, good luck with that. Oh, no, 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 man, you gotta come with me. I need somebody to hold on ass while I beat him down. <laughs> well, here's Brianna's car. They gotta be in one of these rooms. Matt, Flex, Matt, this isn't right. We're acting like the Vice Squad. Dwayne, as God is my witness, Brianna's not gonna make the same mistake I did. Now get to Vice and listen at one of these doors and see if you hear him. <laughs> Nothing. 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 Just the sound of a bit squeaking and somebody getting spanked. <laughs> Get your freak off! I, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him, Dwayne. I'm gonna kill him dead. Get, kick this door down. Man, she's not my daughter. Hey, your shoe's untied. Thank you, man. <laughs> you dislocated my shoulder. It mustn't always be about you. Get out of the way. <laughs> Lilani? This is worse than I thought. 
You should be ashamed of yourself. Is Spirit in there too? My daughter? Well, if she were, what would be the point of me and Cooper being here? Cooper's in there? Of course he is. Although for the next hour, he's the last samurai and I'm his little geisha girl. <laughs> The tea's getting cold, so sayonara. Now, what kind of sick wasabi madness is going on around here? Now, that's Brianna's car. Tell her to get out here right now. You think Brianna's here? What kind of world do you live in, man? <laughs> she was nice enough to lend her car to us because she knew our van had been in the shop all week. Well, all year. <laughs> Once again, you cannot seem to keep track of your own daughter. Uh, oh, well, it's... Come on back in here, hidden dragon. <laughs> Gladly. Cooper, you can turn the camera back on, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Suki, Suki, to you too. I got to go. Yeah, my mom said your father's face was like crazed. Yeah, it serves him right for putting that locator in my car and trying to spy on me. Ooh, I can't wait until I bust him out. <laughs> wait, so your parents go to that motel every week? Yeah, where else are they gonna watch HB? Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, that's him. Look busy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? This is all I know. My mama made me go to circus camp one summer. <laughs> Finally, you found something to do that goes with your clothes. <laughs> now, go on home, sweetie. Hey. Hey, baby. Have a seat, Daddy, oh. so we can spend a little father-daughter quality time together. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> I love father-daughter quality time. Yeah, so do I. You know, it gives us a chance to share our days. Yes. You go first. Okay. So, um, you want to share with me how you ran into Spirit's mom today? <laughs> What's the matter, Daddy? Mm. Are you choking on your lines? <laughs> that beeping we heard at the drive-in was from that locator chip you put in my car. <laughs> Next time you want to violate my civil rights, I suggest you use new batteries. <laughs> that thing takes batteries? That beeping, Dwayne. <laughs> hey, you set me up. How could you do that? How could I? How could you be so sneaky, so deceitful, so wrong? I'm a parent. It's my civil right. But you were the one trying to throw me off by being honest. We're dating. We just wanted to be honest with you. Do me a favor. Don't ever be honest with me again. Well, I know I just say that. Daddy, why can't you just trust me? I mean, I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm almost 18 years old. Ah, yes, 18. The evil age. <laughs> the age of deceit. It's when the dumb gene kicks in. <laughs> I know, that's how I ended up with you. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. Sweetie, I love you. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. But, but it was really hard for me. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to end up doing something that you're not ready for. Daddy, that's all I've been hearing from you and Mom since I got into high school. I get it. I'm not going to end up like you two. Can't you just trust the girl that you raised? Just please give me a chance to be me. Could you be you without Inez? Daddy. <laughs> All right, I just had to give it a shot, throw it out there. All right, I promise. No more spying. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that means I should take the wiretap off her phone. <laughs> much fun, Dwayne. And to think, the only reason why I came by the other day was to tell you to stop sending me those annoying letters. And I put a lot of time into writing those letters. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you know how hard it is to find words that rhyme with please, knees, squeeze, uh, stop. disease? Baby, stop. I read the letters. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm looking forward to our fresh time. Uh, as am I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and every relationship begins with a little mystery. Oh. <laughs> little surprise. Oh. <laughs> 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 I put a locating device in your car because I was jealous and wanted to keep tabs on you. Surprise! <laughs> You've been following me? No, but keeping an eye on you for safety reasons. Oh, and when you go to the drugstore, don't park at Blockbuster, they always tell. 
You disturbed little man. You just don't get it, do you? I'll never trust you again. Goodbye, Dwayne. What? Get candy. No, candy. Baby, candy. Man, I can't believe I lost her again. Dear Candy, I'm down on my knees. Come back to me, please, or else I'll sneeze. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's coming back. <laughs> scholarship applications. Why do I need letters of recommendation? Hey, I bet if you send in some of your fashion designs, some will recommend that you not go to college. <laughs> That's nice, Arnaz. Have you filled out your my mama's white and my daddy's black and I can't sing yet scholarship? <laughs> Don't you worry about me. I've done all my applications. Money for college will not be an issue. That's my boo. We're gonna be the cutest college couple. We'll live in a cute studio apartment, and I'll make you breakfast, and I'll burn the toast, but you won't care, because I'll be wearing one of your t-shirts and looking so cute. Uh, you be making toast for a ghost. <laughs> hey, Mr. Washington, yeah. get off me. <laughs> toast for a ghost. That's a funny joke. I'm trying. <laughs> It'll be even funny in the hallway. <laughs> Nice to Arnaz, he is my man. Yeah, I tell you one thing, I'm not paying thousands of dollars for you to play house with Arnaz. But daddy, I'm gonna be the one going off to college. It's sorta up to me who I'm gonna be living with. Well, not if I'm sorta paying for it. Since when did your offering to pay for college come with so many strings attached? There's only one string attached, and it's to that yo-yo that just ran out of here. Oh, I get it. So paying for college is just daddy code for control my daughter. Did you think after high school, Arnaz and I were just gonna shake hands and go our separate ways? Well, yeah. Daddy, I am grown. And you can't tell me what to do when I go to college. You're not grown until you pay your own way. Fine. Then I'll pay my own way. Oh, really? You gonna pay for your own education? Yep, and Spirit's gonna help me find some scholarships. Good, then I'm gonna find a way to spend your college money. <laughs> oh, how do you think I look in a Porsche? Oh, we know the answer to that. <laughs> Clippers 98 to 80. Hmm. Now, sometimes I think the Clippers exist just so that their owners can make rubles betting against them. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Matt, that's it. Rania has gone too far. She can't continue to say things like the owner's betting against his own team. Why not? That's what people love about her. She's provocative. She's shocking. But she's irresponsible. I mean, I didn't take intro to broadcast journalism twice <laughs> so, uh, to be part of this kind of sensationalism. We're professionals here. Does anybody know the world record for the deepest belly button? <laughs> Come on, Flex. If you're ever going to become a household name, you've got to let go of your integrity. <laughs> People talk about Rania. No one's talking about you. <laughs> no one, man. <laughs> The only time your name is mentioned is when people ask why the show is called The Flex Files. <laughs> now, come on, get out there. Go on, you're running five. Four, three, two. And we're back. Today, we're going to discuss the NBA and what's wrong with it. It's bad. <laughs> it's really, really, really bad. 
school players should stay in college for at least a year. That's where they learn their fundamentals. I say, stay in school, man. <laughs> you know what? I say teach them how to shoot. All American players know how to do is donkey, dunk, dunk. I mean, it is nothing but a big me show. It's just all, oh, watch me, watch me. I'm donkey, dunk, dunk. Watch me, donkey, dunk, dunk. That doesn't even make sense. What do you know about real sports? All you've done is play volleyball. Okay, I didn't play volleyball. I dominated it. Thousands of fans flocked to our matches. And the only reason they flocked to those matches is because of the sexy shorts y'all were wearing. Y'all were practically naked. It's porn with a net. It's body porn. <gasps> and we're out of time. Thanks for watching. Flat. Dunk it, dunk, dunk. <laughs> Brilliant flex. Uh -huh. You really think so? Oh, welcome to the game, player. That was fantastic. I need a cigarette. <laughs> I said I need a cigarette. Sorry. <laughs>
Good luck, Brianna. And Daddy, thanks for blowing my scholarship. Not that you care. All you care about is controlling my life and keeping Arnez and me apart. I hope you're happy. Actually, I kind of am. I just saved a bundle on my car insurance. <laughs> You sure got a lot of scholarship rejection letters. How are you gonna deal with all this? Well, that's why you're here. You're the rejection expert. <laughs> yeah, and just for that, I'm not gonna give you this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, Spirit! Somebody actually wants to give me money. And it's not the guy in the van who's always circling his cool. Spirit! <laughs> These shirts you made for me and the guys are all the wrong sizes. I mean, look at me. I look like a sausage. <laughs> but you gave me those sizes. Stop, stop, stop. Quiet. Well, that sassy attitude might find its way into your little letter of recommendation. <laughs> God, I'm gonna need 20 new shirts. Stat. <laughs> now I'm gonna have nightmares about pregnant men. <laughs> Yeah, I should get started on those shirts. All right. Oh, would you mind dropping off Arnaz's backpack? He left it over here. Oh, what are these? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't use them, I swear. He was just showing me the different colors they come in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but get a load of these. These are all his scholarship applications. He never even filled them out. Oh, my God, Brianna. I know. He doesn't know how to write. <laughs> no, Spirit. He lied to me. Look, Daddy, I really want this scholarship. So don't say any of that chauvinistic stuff you say on your show. And Brianna, I didn't want you to lose those other scholarships. And you know I'm not really a chauvinistic pig. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of honeys up in here. Oh, it looks like our scholarship finalist, Brianna Barnes, is here with our man of the year, Flex Washington. <laughs> Ladies, where's the curtsy? <laughs> oh, I'm Mrs. Jonathan Sullivan, and this is Mrs. Jonathan Fisher. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Washington, it is quite rare that we get to meet someone in your profession who shares our values. So true, Mrs. Fisher. Mm -hmm. I love when you said, why buy a woman a watch when there's a clock on the oven? <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we all sit down? And you can forget this scholarship. You've got nothing in common with these women. So I guess you have to play by daddy's rules after all. I will meet you at the car. I'm sure you would like that, wouldn't you? Well, I'm going to get their money. Playing by their rules. Watch me work. <laughs> oh, I love your skirt, Mrs. Fisher. I think you have the straightest pleats that I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, dear. Uh, make sure you tell Mrs. Sullivan I failed last week's pleat check. <laughs> As you all know, each year we sponsor a college-bound woman to get an education and achieve her dream of catching that perfect man. Someone not unlike yourself, Mr. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should all reach for the stars, Mrs. Sullivan. <laughs> but in the meantime, could you reach for that scone over there and slap some Devonshire on that bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us about yourself, dear. What's a typical day in the life of Brianna Barnes? Well, that depends on how late the mall stays open. <laughs> Actually, it all depends on what my father wants. I find that my day goes a lot smoother when he makes all my decisions for me. <sighs> That's right, like fathers having approval over any gentleman callers. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we don't want the wrong rooster getting into the hen house. Now, do we, ladies? <laughs> well, when the hen goes to college, the farmer can't tell the hen what to do anymore, can he? <laughs> A 
Unless, of course, that hen wants to use her eggs to bake a cake. <laughs> oh, bake a cake! Oh, now I get it! Brianna, you are well on your way to becoming a wonderful wife and mother. And after you snag that perfect young man your first year, sophomore year will be the perfect time to get pregnant. Pregnant? <laughs> Of course. That way you can drop out before you declare a major, become a housewife and a mother before you turn 21, then join us for two-for-one margarita night at TGI Fridays. Whoa, 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 now. Nobody said nothing about birthing no babies at TGI Fridays. No, but Mr. Washington, it's important to get the baby train going while you're still young. Wait a second. Let me get this straight. You guys want to give me money so I can catch a man, have his babies, and wait on him hand and foot? Oh. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Brianna. I knew we picked the right girl. Well, I am the right girl, but not because of your reasons. Look, I want to go to college, but I want to go to get an education, not to catch a husband. That's right. Brianna's mother and I raised her to, to be anything she wants to be. If she wants to be a housewife or, or even a doctor, it's her choice. I'm sorry, Brianna, but I don't think that you embody the ideals of this organization. Ooh, thank God. Cause you desperate housewives are whack. <laughs> and, and those scones, store bought. <laughs> Mrs. Sullivan's husband is having an affair. <laughs> hey, girls. What are you wearing? It's a shirt I just bought from Dwayne. It's pretty cool, huh? Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah, it's worth it. I just can't wear it around someone. But I can't remember who, though. Those are the shirts I made. Dwayne! Somebody call me. Oh, hey, Spirit. You got my shirts? Yeah, they're right here. Oh. I think I keep my money in my sock. So what's up, babe? Oh, I just wanted to give you these. I think it's just some mail you left over here. Oh, thanks. Oh, no, <laughs> no, breed them. OK. They're your scholarship applications, Arnaz. I found them in your backpack. You went through my stuff? You lied to me? Look, Brianna, it's not what you think. I didn't apply for any scholarships because I didn't apply to any colleges. What? So you lied about that, too? Uh, you went through my stuff? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I was just waiting for the right time. Is now a good time? What about all our plans to go to college together? Brianna, my music is blowing up. College is not fitting my plans anymore. Well, what about me? Do I still fit into your plans? Of course you fit into my plans. Wherever you go, I'm gonna follow. You can't get rid of me that easy. But it was different when I thought we were going to school together. What are you gonna be doing while I'm studying? I, I don't know, hanging out, doing my thing. But that wasn't part of the plan. Well, then let's just change the plan. The idea is for us to be together, right? Look, I have band rehearsal to go to. You wanna come? Uh, actually, I have a term paper due, so I'll just see you later. All right, babe. Hey, baby. Bree, if, if I haven't said it enough, I gotta tell you, I, I'm proud of you and how you stood up for yourself with those women today. Yeah, I did. But that was my last chance at any scholarship money. Besides learning how to curtsy, what else do I have? You had me. Brianna, I've been putting money away for you to go to college your whole life. It's there for you. Fine, Daddy, you win. I'll take your money and do whatever you want. <sighs> Baby, look, it's not about what I want. It's about what's right and what's right for you. You can't take care of Arnaz and then plan his life for him. He has to find his own way as a man. 
Yeah, I'm learning that. Good. Because the most important thing is, is that you take care of you. Sweetie Daddy's not gonna always be there to do it. Who are you kidding? You're gonna take care of me forever. <laughs> you're my daddy and that's what daddies do. Mm, and that's the best job to have. <laughs> Hi, this is Flex Washington, and welcome to the Flex Files. Hi, you! You might show donkey. I challenge you to a game of volleyball. Uh, Rania, listen, all, all that's over. I, I was just about to tell our female audience that they should do whatever they want. If they want to go to work, go to work if you want. Stay at home if you want. Play any sport you want. And you're just as good as men. And don't let anybody tell you different. Mm hmm. Does this mean you're backing away from my challenge? Oh. <laughs> you're killing me. Think of the ratings. Don't worry, Matt. I got your ratings. We didn't pay our bill this month, and when I say this month, I mean all year. <laughs> but wait, we need bottled water. I mean, we can't drink that brown stuff that's coming out the tap. Actually, it's a lot easier to swallow if you chew it first. Don't worry, we'll get our water. You've only been here for three weeks. You don't know how we operate yet. <laughs> Showtime, Sarah! <laughs> wait a second. You guys are using sex to get water? No, we're using the idea of sex to get free water. Hey, I'm not leaving without my money. Look, I don't like doing this. It's not my fault I'm the hottest one in the house. Listen, I let you slide for five months without paying, but this is it. Hey, Sarah. A nice skirt. Oops. Sarah, could you get that for me? Sure. Okay, I'll, I, I can just put the bottles on the porch. <laughs> See you next month. <laughs> It's so amazing what men will do for what they will never get. Please don't say that. I can't believe you guys would stoop that low. That's just sad. Isn't it, Arnaz? Here. You dropped this. You can feel all by yourself. I'll be working a double shift today. Two whole hours. I'm really gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too, baby. Look at my man bringing home the bacon. Well, actually, they don't use real bacon. It's faking. <laughs> hey, guys, did you check out the surf this morning? It was awesome. Awesome? <laughs> Sounds like somebody's been in L.A. too long. <laughs> yeah, and you. Daddy, what are you doing here? I thought you were interviewing Kobe for ESPN. Oh, we had to reschedule. He had to go ring shopping again. <laughs> Daddy, I know why you're here. You're just gonna have to get used to the idea of me being on my own. No, it's not that, baby. It's just that I know how hard it is being in a new place with new people, and it just helps to have a familiar face around. Aw, oh, sounds like somebody needs a hug and a kiss. Now who's been in L.A. too long? Bye. <laughs> yeah. So, baby, what do you want to do today, huh? We can go down to the boardwalk and check out the guy who plays Ain't No Holler Back with his armpits. <laughs> It's already been three weeks and I'm behind in my schoolwork. What? I mean, 
I'm doing extra credit assignments already. Oh, great. I'll help. What you got? What? Daddy, I can do my own homework and I can cook my own meals. You and I agreed that me coming out here to go to school was the best thing for me. And I don't remember you hovering over me as part of the plan. Who's hovering? Is that a pimple? Oh, let me get it. Oh, no! That's the last time I let you borrow my car. Look, it's not my fault, all right? I thought the headlights turned off automatically. Oh, they do, yeah, when the battery dies. <laughs> what up, D-Money and Mac? Uh, it's D-Mac and Cash Daddy. Cash Daddy? <laughs> It'd be a lot easier to get them straight if their names were normal. Yeah, we'll look into that, Flex. <laughs> what? I thought you guys were going to the movies. We were, but my car battery's dead. Hey, 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 I, I'd give you guys a jump. Oh, for real? <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, of course, man. I mean, what kind of father would I be if I didn't look out for y'all? You'd be exactly like my father, wherever he is. <laughs> yeah. On the real, though, thanks for rolling with us to the movies, Flex. Ah, it's no problem, D-Cash. <laughs> Brianna wanted me out of her hair anyway. <laughs> you know, that Jessica Alba is quite the actress. It takes a lot of talent to switch races like that. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rican, black, Puerto Rican. Uh, <laughs> uh, my stomach. I am so sorry I let you eat those fish tacos. I thought that smell was the guy selling them. What's wrong, ladies? Lisa's sick, and I've done all the nursing I can do. You didn't put on a nurse's outfit. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, what does it hurt? It's my stomach. That's the last time I eat a fish taco out of some dude's cooler. Oh, dang! I didn't know you guys are going to Larry's restaurant on ice. Arnez, right, you're not helping out. Please go get some cold towels. And if you insist on staying, don't. Hey, Daddy, what's going on here? Lisa's sick and your dad's saving her. That's right, I'm a father. I have experience with sick children. When? I was never sick. Oh, yeah? Then how do you explain your interest in Arnez? <laughs> I don't see any cold towels in here. This table doesn't wobble anymore, y'all. Well, I see you guys didn't have a toolbox, so I bought one and fixed a few things around here. Oh, did you put up the smoke detectors, too? That was me. <laughs> hey, so these smoke detectors, they just detect smoke from fires, right? <laughs> oh, this is great, Flax, but you really didn't have to cook for us. You know? No, he just thinks if he doesn't cook, I don't eat. Hey, let's just let Lisa be a lesson to you all. Yes, if you meet a guy in a free clinic, don't date him. Well, it's not just that. I'm, I'm just saying it, it. It's nice to have a home cooked meal every now and then. You know what, Flex? You, you've been so great to us. I think we should make you our house dad. For real? Yes. <laughs> I agree. Here's to Flex, our house dad. House dad. I like that. <laughs> Here. Flex. A lot less than some whack job would have done if he'd have rolled up into your house. Why is your door unlocked? My only child lives here. It's just easier. Someone's always forgetting their keys or losing them. Or You're not going to scream again, are you? <laughs> Say, dog, you just can't be hopping out of dark corners like that, man. We got white people living here. Thanks again, Carl. Good news, we now have free cable. <laughs> Bad news. I now have to accompany Carl, the cable guy, to the RV show. Like I didn't have to take boudoir pictures of the plumber's wife to get our toilet fixed. Can we say wide-angle lens and night terrors? And I had to DJ the Weinstein bot for just to get our teeth cleaned. Have you ever tried teaching someone the electric slide to have a Nagila? Oi, babe. Fine, we're even. Yeah. Still watching that little TV, huh? Trying. Yeah, my grades suffer too when I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> of course, it didn't matter with my superior basketball skills. <laughs> so, do you have fence or play ping pong? <laughs> getting C's is not gonna get the job done. How do you know I'm getting C's? Oh, I saw your art history test when I was throwing out the uh, trash. <laughs> Ooh, your father wasn't too happy about it. <laughs> You called my father? No, he called and we got to talking. <laughs> you might want to give him a call. He seemed pretty upset. <laughs> Not as upset as I am. 
<laughs> this we're all on the same page. <laughs> so, uh, D Mac, how's your studies going? Uh, that depends. Have you gone through my trash? <laughs> no. <laughs> then your boy D Mac right here, he getting all A's. <laughs> Speaking of A's, I got homework. Hey, I, I thought you were a photographer or something. Uh, but 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 I've got to help D Cash. Think he's lying about the A's. <laughs> Inez, how... Oh, be my good, you, Matt! Hey, kids. Kobe canceled again, which means I had time to go pick up some earthquake kits for you. So I will put them under your beds, assuming your beds are all made. All right, it's been three days, and he's driving me crazy. He threw away all of our junk food, he makes us floss, and he's got all of us on high-fiber diets. What are you guys complaining about? You're the one who made him house dad. That's because before he was cool. Now he's shaft with a broom. <laughs> you know what? I got some neighborhood boys who can run him out of town. Oh, know a lot of tough people in Malibu? <laughs> Don't sleep on Malibu, man. We could be tough, especially during Yom Kippur. Brianna, we can't take it anymore. Your dad's gotta go. We took a vote. When did you take a vote? Oh, right. <laughs> All in favor of banning Flex from the house, say aye. 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 Wait, you guys wanna ban my dad from the house? You too, Arnez? Oh, uh, uh, no, I just had a question. <laughs> You can't ban my daddy's house, Dad. Sure we can. We've done it with all our parents. Yeah, we had to ban my mom after she cleaned the house when we were home. Which was fine, except she threw away all my artwork. <laughs> artwork? Don't you mean porn? Porn to you, art to me. <laughs> well, do you think it's appropriate to have art laying around when you live in a house full of women? If I lived in a house full of women who walked around topless, I wouldn't need it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brianna, but you gotta tell your dad to be out. And Cash is right. We need more topless women around here. <laughs> then take off your shirt, biatch. <laughs> Come on, look, you know how annoying he is. Look, you guys, I can't tell my dad he's not welcome here. He's my dad. Then I tell oh, him. Okay, right? okay, yeah, that kind of <laughs> okay, okay, fine. If that's the way it's gonna be, I'll tell him. All right, the earthquake kids are under the bed safely. Oh, and uh. Tell Cash I found his art collection. Stay away from him. That boy's a freak. Uh, Daddy, can we talk? Uh, yeah, you know, I just wanted to tell you, I, I really like your roommates. Yeah, about that. You know, at first, I was worried about you living here, but after hanging out with everybody, I realized I got nothing to worry about. So that means you won't have to come by here anymore, huh? No, I won't have to. But I want to. <laughs> I'm house dad. <laughs> Yeah, about that. You know, I feel like I should thank everyone for making me feel so at home. I'm going to go thank everyone. You know, you, speaking of home, you know, I've been thinking. Maybe tomorrow, instead of you coming over here, I can come by and check out your hotel. Well, why wait till tomorrow? Why not bring everybody by tonight? <laughs> we can watch the sunset from the lanai. We can have dinner at the restaurant. Oh, Brianna, that's a good idea. Wait, wait, but Daddy, I... I, got, it, I got it under control. I will see you at 7. <laughs> Going to have dinner with my daughter and her friends. Crump it out. Crump it out. How'd it go, Brianna? I hope it wasn't too hard on you. Oh, no, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You didn't tell him, did you? Of course I told him that we would all come to his hotel and have dinner with him tonight. Was that not the plan? Wait, was that the plan? Look, I'm sorry, you guys. I couldn't tell him. He loves you and he thinks you love him. So please, just do this for me tonight. He won't be in town for much longer. Hey, look, if it means as much to Brianna, we should do it for her. If we're gonna make it as roommates, we have to support each other. Trust me, I know my dad. All you have to do is laugh at his jokes a little bit and massage his ego, and, and he'll make it worth your while. Mm -hmm. Free food? Oh, okay. Come on, man. <laughs> You must be really blowing them away at ESPN for them to hook you up with a suite like this. Well, what do you expect, Brianna? As big a star as your dad is. <sighs> yeah, Baltimore couldn't hold this cowboy. I was destined for the big time. 
I bet you enjoyed lots of cool hotel rooms when you were an NBA star. Well, he wasn't that big a star. I mean, he only played one game. Uh, leaving him time to become the television superstar that he's been in the Mid-Atlantic States. Did you say Mid-Atlantic Steaks? As in prime rib, with, with, which I hear is particularly prime at this five-star hotel. Well, that's our D-Mac, always hungry and subtle. So is everybody washed up and ready to go? Yes, I said. <laughs> Just so you know, I finally got my Kobe interview, so I, I head to San Diego, which means you guys will be here tomorrow on your own. So just hang out and enjoy yourselves. Yes. <laughs> All right? And everything is on the house dad. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get some food that you kids can't afford. Come on. <laughs> so much better than going to my temp job today. Mm, so much better than going to school. Uh, unless I went to the University of... Uh... Oh, nice. Oh, there yeah. Yeah. Two of those are mine. I got the strawberry. Oh, hey, Is that the one with that? What is all this? Arnaz, what are you doing? What? This is L.A. Plenty of straight guys get manicures. <laughs> see you at school today. Hey, your pops did say to enjoy ourselves. And we are. Almost as much as Sven is enjoying my thighs. Above the waist, happy hands. He said enjoy yourselves, not bleed him dry. This bill is $1,200. You know what? Everybody out. Relax, Brianna. You really should shiatsu. Well, you know what? You all are full of shiatsu. Get out! We're only doing what you told us to do. I did not tell you to take advantage of my dad's generosity. Yes, that's exactly what you told us to do. <laughs> yeah, what's the big deal, Brianna? Ever since I've known you, this is how your relationship has been with your dad. He's always spoiled you. Well, it's not the same, Arnaz. How's it different? Well, because I'm... Well, he, um... Well, y'all ain't... Oh, my God, I'm a spoiled brat. And y'all think I'm the dumb one. Well, maybe it's time for me to stop being a spoiled brat and, and grow up. Well, good for you, Brianna, but can you grow up tomorrow? I have a salt scrub in an hour. No. No more treatments. No more room service. Look, you guys, I know my dad has been annoying the past couple of days, but he doesn't deserve this. It's time we start acting like adults. And we can start by not making my dad have to pay for all this. I would hate for him to find out what we did. Fine, then we'll pull our cash and pay the bill ourselves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was serious. We have to figure out a way to take care of this. That's probably the manager. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Sarah, showtime! <laughs> hey, I just want to tell you how much I really appreciate this. Well, now you get to go to the RV show with the cable guy. <laughs> Aw, <Aww>, deal. <laughs> Come in! You have a problem with your bill? I got this. <laughs> now, <laughs> about our bill. <laughs> Where did I put that? <laughs> I'm sorry I missed your roommate, sweetie. I wanted to apologize for being so pushy and controlling. <laughs> Come on, baby, your dad knows. <laughs> Look, I just want you to understand that the reason why I've been hanging out with you so much is that 
It's been really hard letting you go. Well, it's hard for me too, Daddy. You're not a little girl anymore. You're an adult now. You've turned out better than I could have ever, ever hoped. If only I could have been Arnez's dad. <laughs> One day you still might be, Mr. Washington. Well, I guess things could be worse. And Arnez, just so you know, eavesdropping is very rude. All right. <laughs> Bye, baby. <laughs> Huh? I'm dependent on you, boy. Ah, I is. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I call you every day. Oh, let's make it every other day. I'm still paying for your phone bill. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> clients for my dating service. Unemployed, lives with his mom in his van, and speaks fluent Klingon? <laughs> Wait, Lisa, I think I found you a live one. <laughs> really? Let me see. Ew, and a unibrow. Hey, who wants to come to a hot party in the Hollywood Hills tonight? Will there be women at this one, then? <laughs> hey, I didn't know that was going to be the Brokeback Mountain rap party. You guys in or you out? Well, that depends. Are we gonna ask Brianna and Arnaz to come? No way. They've only been broken up for a few weeks. It'd be way too awkward. Yeah, exes can't be friends. But they can run for governor and then act like they don't know you. <laughs> it must be so painful for them every time they see each other. Painful for them? How about us? I mean, all they do is talk about the weather. That's true. That's true. Okay. Hot out today, huh? Must be about 80. 82, the radio said. 15% chance of rain. Can't take this weather crap anymore. Yo, Arnez, now why don't y'all talk about something more interesting? Say, like, the Middle East. Right, fine, fine, yeah, we can do that. Did you uh, hear that it gets as high as 125 degrees over there? Huh. Well, do you know if it's dry heat or is there humidity? Good question. Okay. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. I'll be back to take a bend. What a true love we are Brianna, hey, what's up? I hate to bother you, because I know you all torn up and stuff. I'm fine. Such a brave soldier. <laughs> anyway, look, I made you something to help you through this trying time. All right? I call it my you were too good for Arnez anyway mix. <laughs> I'm every woman, because you represent. I will survive, because I know you will. <laughs> and sexual healing, which I personally think is the way to go. <laughs> Going. Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, I don't need no man. No, I don't need. Wait a minute. Where is everybody going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Wait a second. You guys were going out without me? No. We were ditching our nets too. See ya. But, wait, why? Just because we broke up, you don't think we can't hang out with each other? Pretty much. But. <laughs> Look, I don't have a problem with it. Do you have a problem with it, Arnett? Hey, if you don't have a problem with it, I sure don't. I just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> hey, will you stop checking out Arnett? 
Chris Brown is the one with the Rolex. Actually, um, I, I was checking out D Mac. He's kind of hot. Back off, sister. I've been working that for two years. Huh? Yo, this house must be higher up than I thought because right now I'm looking at an angel. Oh my God, Chris Brown. How you doing? I know who I am, but I'm interested in who you are. I I'm Brianna. Brianna, yeah, Brianna. Yeah. Kind of hot. Oh, uh oh. Oh, but you're also only 16. These ain't nothing but a number. Tell me. So. If you're not afraid of calling the 16 year old and afraid of a little jail time, here's my card. <laughs> oh my god! You just turned down Chris Brown. He's 16. So, by the time you decide to have sex with him, he'll be 18. Another prosciutto wrapped shrimp for the lovely lady. Compliments to the chef. I thought all this food was free. Hey, you made these? They're wonderful. Keep them coming. Oh, I plan to. I'll take nothing. I thought I could handle this. This is weird being at the same party as my ex-girlfriend. Especially when she's acting like we never went out. There's a lot of people here. You could go the whole night and not worry about seeing her. <laughs> oh, God, here she comes. Hey. Hey. Isn't this a beautiful view? Great visibility. Surprise, not cloudy. Barometer's been falling all day. <sighs> okay, stop about the weather why don't you both just admit that you're uncomfortable around each other so we can all get on with our partly cloudy lives i have no idea what you're talking about not only am i good with our breakup i have so moved on oh so you moved on just like that well of course that's what people do when they have a huge fight and break up they move on haven't you moved on oh yeah absolutely yeah i'm more than moved on uh-huh i moved on so much I'm actually back where I started. Yeah, in fact, I've moved on so much, I'm thinking about what to say to that cute girl over there. Okay. Good for you. And since I've moved on so much, too, I'm gonna help you out with that by introducing you. D don't do it, man. The minute she says hi, Brianna's gonna shank her with a cocktail soap. Uh. Don't be silly. Now, come on and let me do all the talking. You're not so good at it. Uh, so well at it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, my friend is kind of shy, but he would really like to meet you. Oh, a guy that cute doesn't have to be shy. Really? Oh, see? You two have something in common already. He thinks he's cute, too. <laughs> I like those jeans. They look well on you. Oh, thank you. What country are you from? <laughs> and then I was bringing it to the back. Oh, word? More food? Oh, this is great. Yo, I can eat this every day. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is for the beautiful lady. I didn't get your name. It's Sarah. Renalta. And I'm Lisa, and I'm starving. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make you a fresh batch. It's okay. I am just as interested in the chef as I am in the food. You know, you're really good at what you do. I'm good at everything I do. Do you do barbecue? Excuse me? Oh, don't pay attention to them. They're just my roommate. Uh, roommates who would like to invite you to their barbecue tomorrow. Yeah, you know, so you two can get to know each other in a more relaxed, casual environment on our patio, which happens to have a grill. So can you come? Will you be there? Yes. Then I'll come. Can I bring anything? Everything here tonight was good. Good. Until tomorrow. I look forward to it. <laughs> hey, in case you guys didn't notice, I have just cooked up Arnez, which proves I have moved up. <laughs> now, if you and I were laying in bed together naked, <laughs> I'd believe. <laughs> I'm not going to warn you again. These are the best ribs I've ever had. Are you sure your mama's white? And Sarah likes ribs, right? Because I'm making these for her. Don't worry about Sarah. She won't date you, I will. That wasn't really the plan. Of course Sarah will date him. Wait till she tastes the cornbread. I didn't make any cornbread. No cornbread? What, are you afraid of love? No, I love love. Sarah loves cornbread. <laughs> okay, the lemonade is done. I guess I'll move on. 
to make us a bunch. <laughs> Well, when I finish shucking this corn, I'll move on to shucking whatever else needs to be shucked. Hey, how do I look? Because I just checked Ronaldo's credit rating, and it's through the roof. <laughs> oh, great. Ooh, but you better hurry up, because you've got competition. As soon as Cash tasted the ribs, he wouldn't put on his best shirt. <laughs> Ooh, that is a nice shirt. Rise and shine, girls. We've got work to do. All done. Now this corn is free from its oppressive husk. Feels good to be free, doesn't it, corn? Okay, now you're talking to the corn. Well, it's not like we're talking. You know what? You're right. This is silly. We've been friends for too long to be treating each other like this. We should stop playing games and just talk to each other like normal people. No more dumb weather talk. No more talking to produce. Let's just be real and honest with each other. Okay, I'd like that. See, that'd be nice. Because ever since we broke up... Oh, wait, just a second. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm closer. No, really, I... I, I... Hi! Brianna, right? Alicia! What are you doing here? Oh, Arnaz invited me. Sorry, did you say Arnez invited you? Yeah, I invited her last night. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I put these sodas in the fridge? Oh, I got them. Uh, no, I'll get them. No, I said I'll take them. Get them. Give them to me. Boy, you guys must really love soda. Look, I invited her last night before, you know, we decided to be real with each other. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I don't have a problem with this. You don't. I thought we were being honest with each other. You mean to tell me that you don't care that I invited her here? Of course not. Why should I? I just hope it doesn't rain today. Oh, great. Now we're talking about the weather again. For your information, there's only a 20% chance of rain. She's a 90% chance of sunshine. So are we the only ones here? Because I'm not much of a weather buff. Oh, no. Everybody else is out back. Come here. I'll show you. Hey, everybody. Look who's here. It's Alicia. I guess she and Arnez hit it off because he invited her to the barbecue. So come on, everyone. Let's say hi to Alicia. Hi, hi Alicia. Alicia. Hi. Damn shame somebody that fine dying so young. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Where's the bathroom? Here, let me show you. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. I'll show her. No, I'll show her. I'll show her. Go. We always go in twos. It's a girl thing. What the hell were you thinking, Arnez? Brianna's gonna kill that girl. Yeah, we haven't even finished our appetizers yet. <laughs> Brianna just got done telling me how honest she wants us to be. Now she's playing some kind of game like she doesn't care that Alicia's here. Well, I'm gonna make her stop fronting. Even if it costs Alicia most of her hair. <laughs> Oh my God, what have you done with Alicia? <laughs> She's in the bathroom. Oh, all right, think, think, think. Um, mm -hmm. We wrap her body up in a shower curtain and then dump it just outside of Barsta. Okay. <laughs> Here, take the back roads. <laughs> Wait, why do I have to do it? I have a date. <laughs> okay, you two are scaring me. Why would I want to kill her? He should have never brought her to the house. How many times do I have to tell you guys? I have moved on. Well, come on, let's go enjoy the barbecue. You know, your food is delicious. My research indicates. I mean, your catering company must do very well. Oh, it does, but my dream is to open my own restaurant and share it with the woman I love. Mm. You mean as in share the net... Profit? <laughs> share everything, just like my dad did with my mom. They're partners. He cooks, she cleans. He drives to the fish market, she loads the fish barrels. He drives home, she cleans and guts the fish. 
she is going to love meeting you. Oh my god, the poor woman's still alive? Uh, will you excuse me? For the rest of my life? Things heating up with the love chef? No, he doesn't want a girlfriend. He wants a Gorton's fisherman. Keep him away from me. So did Sarah say anything about me? She's totally into you. But, but I think a chocolate mousse would really push you over the edge. <laughs> chocolate mousse it is. I'll go start the car. <laughs> Cute bathing suit. I told Alicia we'd get such great rays in the patio. She might want to bring a bathing suit. Thank you, bro. Come on, Alicia. Sit down next to me. Yeah, and don't forget your sunblock. I wouldn't want you to burn. Thanks, Brianna. Arnez, will you do me? I'll do you if you do me. Yeah, go ahead, Arnez. Do Alicia before she gets too hot. And that wouldn't upset you? Not as much as our guest getting skin cancer. Now do her. Since you insist, I'd love to do her. Hmm. Is this what you want, Brianna? Forget it. I cannot watch this anymore. Yes. Give me that lotion. Ooh, here comes the Be More Beatdown. <laughs> and once Alicia's on the ground, maybe we can get in a few kicks. <laughs> now, it takes a woman to know how this is really done. This is better than a No, jet. no, no. Don't ruin this moment with words. <laughs> okay, thanks for your help, but I'll take it from here. Oh, no, 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 but I want to help. After all, I want to be polite to the girl who you invited to our house, who we don't know, to come to our barbecue out of the goodness of your hormones. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I meant heart. Isn't this what you wanted, huh, Brianna? You're the one who introduced us. You're the one who thought she was so cute. You're the one who's so happy that she's here. Okay, okay, that's it. I don't even know why I go to these kind of parties. All you L.A. freaks want to do is have orgies, and I am not going to end up on the Internet. Again. <laughs> I knew I recognized her. I like you as a blonde. <laughs> Alicia, please. Let me explain. Oh, this turned out to be a great day for a barbecue. Ooh, cornbread. <laughs> no, don't even think about calling me. And that goes for your little touchy-feely girlfriend, too. What the hell was that? Why can't you just yell and pull out her hair like a normal black woman? <laughs> Why? Is that what you wanted? As a matter of fact, it was. Why do you think I invited her here? You've been so cool with everything. It's like you're not even hurting at all. Like I am. Of course I'm hurting. I've just been acting, okay? Because I thought if I faked it well enough, I'd believe it and it wouldn't hurt so much. But to be honest, seeing you with her was killing me. Really? The truth is, I'm not really ready to see you with somebody else yet. I guess this is going to be harder than I thought it would be. Well, it didn't help you force an Alicia on me. But you do have a good taste, though. <laughs> so what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe we need some rules. OK. Um, what if the house was neutral territory? Off limits for dates. Okay. Here's one. If you start dating another guy that you like, you have to wait the previously established five years before having sex. <laughs> Deal? Deal. <laughs> All right. Chocolate mousse. Sweets for my sweet. I'm sorry, I, I don't eat chocolate. It makes me break out. But the guy said it was your favorite. They promised me it was the way into your heart. Oh, the guy said that, did they? No, 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 no. We, we said that she loves the chocolate mousse. 
Pops. <laughs> That's my nickname around the house. <laughs> they call me Baked Alaska. Hey, where was I when we were all getting the dessert nicknames? You were shutting up, Cupcake. So, this is just a joke to you people? You're just using me? Let me leave you with one more of my specialties. Because I'm wearing this dope jacket that I don't want to get sap on. Well, do we have to get the cheapest tree on the lot? Uh, let me put it to you like this. The cheaper the tree, the better your gift. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas. Oh, Mommy, you made it before the blizzard. Yes, I did. Oh, maybe not too tight. I'm not feeling too well from the flight. It's probably just jet lag. Don't you mean broom lag by pretty? <laughs> Flex, I am not in the mood. Oh, come on, Nicole. Just one for old time's sake. Come on, what you got? Come on. Come on. Uh, you so thin, if we put a dime on your head, you'll look like a nail. That's all you got? You must really be sick. Oh, a box of unhung Christmas decorations. Ooh, and a broken down Christmas tree. Still doing Christmas last minute, huh, Flex? Hey, what you call last minute, I call a free tree. <laughs> Well, I hope you didn't wait till last minute to get that two-way page of cell phone I asked for. <laughs> Why are you going to play me like that? I got you covered, baby. Uh, you know, go, go in my bedroom and, and get that Pepto for your mom. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> She's jumping, man. Got her covered when you play with me like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Radio Shack? Uh, you got any more of those two-way page of cell phones? <laughs> Sometimes in the spot, you can feel all my When there's nobody around oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love will you find Baby, you can get some more Baby, one, 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 one Can't nobody break this bond Baby, one, 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 one Now we have a fun One, 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 one So, what do NBA stars want for Christmas? Carl the Mailman Malone? A championship ring. Kevin Garnett, a diamond earring buffer. <laughs> and Latrell Sprewell, some dandruff spray for his braids. <laughs> well, that's all for the Flex Files on Flex Washington. Flat out, back to you, Edwin. <laughs> God bless you. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> and back to me. Looks like the flu bug that's going around has bit our anchor man. <laughs> And when we come back, Edwin will have the latest update on the blizzard. <laughs> and hopefully a tissue. And we're out. <sighs> come your mouth. Look at these weaklings. I once worked 56 hours straight with pneumonia. So what if I don't have the full use of my right lung? Well, I'm sorry to hear about your little handicap, but I got my own problem. Like, when am I gonna start to cover the hard-hitting stories? I've become a diligent, thorough, hard-working reporter. It's my time. No, it's Christmas Eve, and you should be home with your family. Only those of us with an empty womb should be working. <laughs> oh, all right, then. Uh, well, Merry Christmas, and uh, may your womb be filled with joy. <laughs> hey, everybody. Ooh, girl, looks like you got hit by a truck and it backed up and ran over you again. Daddy, she's feeling worse. I don't want her to go to the hotel. Mommy, please don't go. Okay, okay, I won't. Ooh, I'm sorry I had to fight dirty with them fake tears, but I learned from the best. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> okay, I'm about to go put your bags up in the back. Ooh. You know what? Maybe it was those polar bear burgers I ate on the plane. <laughs> Well, with you being sick, it's good that you're sleeping here. Sleeping here? After what happened Thanksgiving? Flex, I thought that we decided that uh, you weren't going to get any more of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We decided that being friends was better for us, and you weren't getting any more of this. <laughs> you wish. That you wouldn't beg for it. Yes, I do. <laughs> 
Anyway, Brianna wants you here, and she would love to have both of us home for Christmas. Well, you don't have to work at all? Well, even if I had the opportunity, I can't run off on assignment during Brianna's first Christmas with me. Old saga of a single parent versus career. I lived it for 12 years. It sure puts a dent in your social life. Yeah, my bachelor day seemed so long ago, I can't even remember what a Raven's chili the party was like. Mm, wait a minute. Mmm, there it is. <laughs> So, how are we gonna decorate this sorry-looking tree? The same way we deal with Uncle Loxton's gambling problem. Uh, mm, we had it. <laughs> Look at all the gifts under the tree. <laughs> it's disgusting. This room stinks with commercialism. You spend all your allowance again, huh? Girl, you know it, and all I can get you for Christmas is a hug. <laughs> and a little for me. And a little for my homies. <laughs> And a little more for my lady. <laughs> this eggnog is gonna be better than Viagra. <laughs> Richard, don't you drink too much of that or the answer's gonna be, no, I have a headache. Oh, it ain't your head I'm interested in. <laughs> hey! Hey! No, 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 no. Man, it is coming out out there. I swear it's so cold, I saw a homeless man jump out of his box and into a refrigerator. So how'd you get over here, man? I commandeered a snowcat off a lot. It was either that or hole up in the sales office with this old cleaning lady. Now, if I was 40 years older... <laughs> You'd invited to dinner just like you did. Yeah, you know me, dog. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Stacy. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing much. Uh... I was just thinking about that whole stepping up thing, and maybe I was a little too hasty. I'm ready to give you a break. Oh, really? What brought this on? Tell the truth, I could really use some help around here, and uh, Edwin's not feeling too well. <laughs> oh, look, I, I don't know. I mean, it's Christmas, my whole family's here. Uh, hold on. Well, what is it, Flex? Stacy wants me to come down to the station. This could be my big break, but this is Brianna's first Christmas here. And it'll still be my first Christmas when you get back. Uh, Stacy, I'm on my way. Hey, yo, D, I'm gonna need to ride on that snowcat, dog. Ah, oh, no problem, dog. Okay, kids, gather round, gather round. It's time for Big Daddy's traditional Christmas story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was 50 years ago in Alabama. Me and my 15 brothers and sisters only had one pair of shoes between us. Really, Grandpa? Oh, it's true. We could only go outside to play one at a time. Oh, Flex. Oh, thank God you're here. Oh, God. Everyone's sick or stuck in the blizzard. You don't know how bad I need you. Oh, what's the big deal with sexual harassment? I like this mama. <laughs> if we go live in 30 seconds, come on. Oh, okay. Here you go. Okay, uh, I, I, I got this. Uh, okay, I'm on sports. Who's on weather? You. Uh, who's on traffic? You. Who's on news? Oh, uh, let me guess. Is it, uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Today's top story, blood up, blood up, blood up. I don't know what you're laughing at. You're on teleprompter. What do I know about working a teleprompter? Well, do you know about how you'll walk after I knock your kneecaps off with my teeth? <laughs> Both ouch and mmm. <laughs> Dwayne O'Dell Knox, teleprompter operator at your service. Okay, in five, four, three. Good evening. I'm Flex Washington, and I'll be sitting in for everybody. And we'll be bringing you continuous coverage of the blizzard that's, that's, that's. Dwayne! Oh, my bad, dog. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Bear with me, Baltimore. It's going to be a long evening, but stay tuned. Our next story, news anchor bludgeons teleprompter operator with a box of Krispy Kreme. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. One look at that macaroni and cheese, and I just felt like I was on that teacup ride. <laughs> you just lie right here and get yourself together. Okay, thank you. Here's some saltines to settle your stomach. Oh, thank you, Eunice. Go easy with them. I see you put on some weight. <laughs> oh, that's right. Turn it up. Meeting doctor stated that the boy had been breaking icicles off his roof with the broom. After repeating... Ooh, my son is so handsome on TV. He's going to be the next Al Roker. 
<laughs> Enough chat. How many weeks are you? What are you talking about? You've been throwing up ever since I got here. I dreamed about halibut last night, and everybody knows fish dreams are scientific proof of pregnancy. <laughs> well, if you must know, I'm only a week late. And yes, it could be job stress. Um, yes, I did get a little queasy looking at the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and yes, the last time that happened, I was carrying Brianna. <laughs> oh, halibut. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask who the father is. I mean, that's your business. It really doesn't concern me at all. Well, actually, we both seen the father naked. You and my Richard? Ew! <laughs> oh. On a happier note, due to severe weather, the Wu-Tang Sings Christmas concert tour has been canceled. When we return to oh, my God. <laughs>
after this break. Your mom is pregnant? How did this happen? Well, I heard her talking to Grandma. She's not even going to tell you. She's going back to Nova Scotia having the baby on her own. You got to talk to her. But I can't walk out on Stacy. What am I saying? I can't walk out on me. This is my big break, sweetie. But, Daddy, please. She's talking about leaving tonight. She'll be black, pregnant, and alone in Nova Scotia, Daddy. A statistic. Daddy, please don't let my mommy be a statistic. All right, sweetie. Stacy, look, I got to go. Family emergency. And you're in the middle of a work emergency, Mr. Meteor Stories. Stacy, I want to do those stories. No, I deserve to do those stories. But my family comes first. I'm sorry. Flex. Flex. <laughs> All right, Dwayne, looks like it's me and you. Well, I didn't know you wanted to roll that way, but I'm down. <laughs> I'm talking about us going on camera. Oh, you got a little freak in you, don't you? <laughs> Brianna just came down to the station and told me that you're pregnant. Oh, she must have been listening outside that door. Oh, that sneaky little girl, just like her mama. <laughs> uh, Mom, could, could you give us a minute? Looks like our little romp at Thanksgiving has come back as a Christmas gift. I can't believe that I'm going to be a father again. I don't know what happened. I mean, we were very safe. Guess my boys are great swimmers, just like little Aquaman. <laughs> Get over yourself. Look, I don't want you to worry about this, okay? As long as you continue to take care of Brianna, I can raise little Levi all by myself. Now, hey, 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 ain't no child of mine gonna be named after jeans. <laughs> Although I've always liked the name Jordash. <laughs> <laughs> I know we may not be together, but we're in this together. But Flex, I don't want to interfere in your life, you know? Things are going well for you. Look, I spent a lot of years away from Brianna, and I don't want that to happen again. Hey, Mommy, I picked up this pregnancy test for you from the store. The sales lady said it's the best one and that I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> Three, two, one! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Arnaz, this is for you. Uh, uh, Otis Redding? The Doors, Elvis? All artists who die before their time. Uh, how deep is your affection, Ryan? <laughs> deep enough to buy you UCD. <laughs> Well, Brianna, you know how I am. I waited till the last minute, so I did the best that I could. Oh, you got my pager! Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank your brother selling them in the alley. <laughs> oh, cheer up, girl. Here, I made this for you. Oh, how sweet a ponytail! <laughs> you left in my brush. <laughs> Nicole, I have something for you. Well, in a few minutes, I'm gonna have something for you. I, um, I took the test. Well, uh, let's wait together. Okay, everybody, gather around. I'm going to finish my Christmas story. <laughs> you wanna look? No, you look. No, it's your pee, you look. You know, this is gonna change our lives. Again. Yeah, I know. Mommy, Daddy, you got more presents to open. So, am I gonna have a little brother, a little sister? I don't know which dot is the right dot. Here, let me see. Ooh, that's the wrong end. Ew! <laughs> All right, well, uh, let me get a good look at this. Uh, well, looks like there's not going to be a miracle this Christmas. Sure there is. I got both of my parents on Christmas, my family. It doesn't get any better than this.
Yeah, I've always been real comfortable in front of the camera like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you hear that? Uh, the Christmas carols, smell the holiday ham, fresh cut Christmas trees. This is my favorite time of the year. Yeah, well, I hate it. All my girlfriends with their loving husbands, apple cheek children, and their perfect Martha Stewart like Christmas tables, all looking down on me because I'm a career woman with only one ovary. <laughs> Girl, you better come in. What made you do that? I think it was the one over. <laughs> yeah? Well, do it again. Watch yourself. <laughs> I like Christmas now. I think I'll love it. Ho, well, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, our bride is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. All our bride is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Dashing through the snow. One-horse open sleigh. Yeah. Oh, the 